man. I'm still on the bullshit, y'all. I'm still on the bullshit, man. I ain't gonna hold you too long, but hey, somebody got some explaining to do. Somebody's got some explaining to do. Man, look at the discrepancies, man. Look at the discrepancies in the pay rate, bro. Yeah, look at the discrepancies in the pay rate. That's all I got to say. That motion filed by a defendant's attorney seeks to have both the special prosecutor and the district attorney removed from the case. Investigative reporter Zach Merchant is joining us now uncovering new records showing how much Nathan Wade has been paid for the case compared to to others assigned to it. So, Zach, what did you find here? Yeah, guys, so first off, we want to say we've been on this for a bunch that of days now. That boy must have been a lot of work. The special prosecutor, Nathan Wade, had a relationship with DA Fonnie Willis, is explosive, but so far unproven. The court filing making that allegation contained no concrete proof. So we are keeping our attention on the money and documents we can independently corroborate. Follow the Especially money. last 24 hours looking through Fulton County payment logs and discovered records suggesting Wade was paid substantially more than two other special prosecutors on this case. Damn, why though? Without naming him, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis addressed the controversy surrounding special counsel Nathan Wade while speaking before the congregation at Big Bethel AME Church over Martin Luther King Day weekend. I appointed three special counselors, is my right to do, paid them all the same hourly rate, <laughs> While that may be true, public records obtained from Fulton County show the amount each were paid differed substantially. Records indicate the DA's office paid Special Prosecutor John Floyd's law firm, Bondurant, Mixon, and Elmore, close to $73,000 between 2022 and 2023. Special Prosecutor Anna Cross's law firms, Cross Kincaid and the Cross Firm, were paid a total of roughly $90,000 during the same years. Over the same time period, Fulton County records show the DA's office paid the law offices of Nathan J. Wade more God than $50,000. Bro. Uh, those figures sound radically off, but if he did the vast majority of work and they were just consulting, uh, those figures may be accurate. That's were, Emory uh, Law School. I hope that's the case, man, because that's a whole lot of discrepancy. For district attorney's offices, Holy shit. Special prosecutors for complex cases, like the ongoing RICO case, where former President Donald Trump is among those facing charges. The, the piece of information that we need to find from the district attorney's office is how many billable hours did each of them put in, Woo! and how is that is that reflective of the actual work product that was produced. Emory Law Professor John Acevedo, who you just heard from there, said that something ain't right, y'all. The allegations against Wade and Willis are ultimately proven true. Did y'all see Unlikely, that shit? That would force something ain't right. The ongoing prosecution. That was a lot of money, man. His co-defendants. He said a much more likely outcome would be Wade having to recuse himself from the case. But again, we want to stress that is still a big if. Man. Those allegations remain. All right, Zach, so what did y'all the seen the numbers, man? Y'all like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, man. To I'm gonna keep bringing more about Fannie, man. I'm gonna keep mixing it up and mixing it up and mixing it up. You feel me? And see what we make. You feel me? Still have the you're have a good night, man. Thank you, man. I'm gonna keep going, man. Thank you, Zach. 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 Thank you, Zach.